Who else is gonna play in this matchup, really? He he plays like Donkey Kong and Bear are like his two are his two like main characters. Yeah. But he's like throughout the entire game, he's like constantly like bit like picked up new characters and like played them in bracket. Uh, he plays a lot of Roy and Crom now. I know. Um, okay. Snack told me he was a uh, a Ridley. He was a Ridley in the first Ridley Bowser guy. He's a Ridley in, in the first few months of the game. Bowser okay, for a bit longer. Got you. Um, yeah, but but all now, those characters just listed. Uh, Bayo, not really an option. Uh, Donkey Kong, Bowser, uh, all those big characters, not really an option against Yoshi. I guess this is kind of just what he, you know, what he had. And that's the benefit of being like, you know, multi-character kind of guy. Yeah, it, it is nice, and uh, I think he's just, I, I've actually not seen his cloud this game. I think he's just picking him up because the new cloud buffs. Gotcha. Um, but you know, you got to try to test out the watch somewhere, man. Yeah, and he had a cloud smash four that was pretty, pretty decent. Yeah. Uh, you can just sit in the cave and practice your character over and over and over, and then just come to the tournament and show like everyone your secret techniques. Yeah. But you really just need the, the best way to learn is your tournament experience of your character. There's no replacement for it. The hey, cloud's what? looking pretty good yeah. now. Doing a good job staying alive. Yeah. Yoshi and Snack, uh, a character he's been uh, sticking with for many years. He knows the setups. He knows what people are looking for. And also, he's been playing for a long time. So he knows the flightless happens too. So flightless, doing a great job staying alive. Cloud, not the VC was in Smash 4, but still has those big hitboxes that are really good for catching Yoshi on landing and out of the air. Because Yoshi, a lot of times, in neutral is like forced to jump because mm -hmm. his grounded buttons aren't great, but his aerial buttons are really, really good. Unfortunately, so, so characters that can stuff him out in the air, like moves like that, are really, really nice. Cloud has plenty of kill power, so Yoshi's not going to really be able to armor through things very easily. Plenty especially, yeah. oh, Smash. Plenty of kill power. Doing a good job staying, uh, you know, relevant and neutral. Just if he gets hit, he's gonna get hit hard because Yoshi's gonna combo you for days. Yeah. He'll be off stage, so you're gonna have to spend something or just, you know, have to deal with There's his Spending the limit, but I mean, limit comes back faster now, so. Oh, does it really? Yeah, that That's was one, one of the, the buffs that he got where um, limit charges faster. Uh, he his up smash is stronger, and uh, up B grabs the ledge sooner. Hey, dude, I feel like those limit buffs T should have started the game with. Yeah, I mean. I, I very, feel like, very nerfs in Smash 4 considering it goes away in 15 seconds now. Yeah, dude, going away in 15 seconds, you know, it adds this kind of like fleetingness to it. Being able to charge it up faster just made it, you know, made more sense to me. Yeah, it does. It, it makes a lot of sense because yeah. of how, because in, in Smash 4 you can have that option play like, use like, keep your limit and use the passive buffs and like use it as like a movement option almost. Yeah. And um, and then save your limit for either recovery or like a guaranteed hit. This but now, one, yeah. and this one you kind of just had to. Throw out limit moves and get as many as you can. Yeah. It really, it, it, it was a, it was kind of a small thing in the grand scheme of things, but it really just changes Cloud's whole yeah. game plan. I think it was like one of the most interesting changes. Yeah. There were, it was like one of those things where there were clouds that like played like that in Smash 4, yeah. um, and now it's just it's how you're supposed to play. It, it was monstrously better. Like his normals were buff and he could just be buff. Yeah. Really. I think most of like the super, super like high level clouds were the ones that were like the, you know, the save the limit. We had like good clouds like you can you know, were fans of getting as limit, many limit moves as possible. Snack just got sticking right here at the egg, being uh, playing egg snipper. Yeah, really, really even game right now. Flyla's doing a great, uh, uh, I said, doing a great job using my upbeat to anti until right then. <laughs> yeah, upbeats are really, really good out of shield option in this game. Uh, it comes out really fast. The thing is, a little, can be a little kind of inconsistent on yeah. like hitting. Connecting the first and second hit, but yeah. even then, generally, it's not super. I'm sure when you take it to a stage like Battlefield, just gets more and more, more and more useful. Yeah. Same thing with like things like Simon and Rickard there out these. Yeah. Oh, these guys feel really good this game. Ooh, Snack trying to catch the landing there, but it's a little off. Oh my god, that was so fast. How's he get up the ledge? This is kind of where it's hard for Yoshi to get in, but he uses the X to give himself a little bit of space. Yeah. And that's how you know somebody knows the Yoshi matchup versus somebody who doesn't. Are they getting, are they like making this neutral extent or are they just getting comboed? And that's really is. Uh, he's just so explosive. And uh, it just goes toward uh Snack like had like a read on his movement, but he just like barely misspaced his bear and his bear. Oh, you're really doing it. Yeah, nice that's that that really good. He's got him on stage. This is a really hard spot for Cloud. What's he gonna do? Yeah. Oh. Still doesn't that perfectly. Oh, Caught him when he got him with the upbeat, he didn't have a jump anymore. So, mm -hmm. a little bit interesting that Snack went off stage. He almost kind of risked, he, in a way, he kind of risked getting. He just like, wanted to be 100% sure. Yeah. He could have he been up, he spiked, but you know. He might not have realized that he already used the jump. 
but because if he had used a jump, he would have made it back. But yeah. autopilot. But you know, whatever works. Game's over. Yeah, it's One o smack. This fight is gonna go back to someone he looked a little bit better. Uh, it's uh, still early in the tournament, could, so could, maybe he I doesn't want to throw away his winners bracket. Yeah, Bayo. Even though Bayo's nerf, I feel like she has the thing. She has she has tools and. I was gonna know the matchup way more, but he's gonna go. Okay. Hong Kong's another character that he has found okay. uh, a lot of success in this game. Not, not once. Hong Kong's really weird because he's like bad, mm -hmm. but he's like his advantage gate is so good. So like once he hits you and gets you above him, he's like so good. Yeah, but he's Yoshi, like Yoshi's a character with a kind of air speed that's gonna. Yeah, this is a hard matchup though. Uh huh. Especially uh, once snacks the hit, it's gonna be combo city. Uh -huh. So he really just needs to, you know, find this advantage gate like you said to just keep him there. One of the hard things about Don Kong is that he's a big character, and he's, even though he's heavy, he dies consistently very early because of the fact that he's like so edge guardable. Yes. And his recovery is so like bad, like vertical height. Yeah. Yoshi, not. Uh, I don't really think he has as many scary options to deal with it. He, he does have eggs to mess with. He has the eggs, and he has the forward air, is a big one. Is that? He has forward air, which is a big one. Oh, I forgot that. I can think he doesn't get Yeah, and he's going for it, but good. Or, Early and high up. Oh, oh he just, I don't know if that was true or if he messed it up. Um, because Hong Kong, his ding dong from the last game is like kind of gone. But he has this, he has this like weird thing. He can grab you and jump onto a platform and like extend his and, and he can like kill combo you like with a ding dong and grab you and hit on a platform. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Can, like, Not really his. working so far. Snap being able to take the first stock. Yeah. We'll see how much you can squeeze out of it here. Don Kong not having the best out of field options. He's not going to be able to put a downer, but I just think I'll landing. Yeah, unless that lands in clear, there's not much you can do. Don Kong, similar to Cloud, has those big hitboxes that can uh, get Yoshi out of there, specifically that back air. And if Yoshi's landing, uh, you can get him with dash attack. And dash attack is a fantastic combo for him. There you go, right there. Yeah. Big of the double. Ooh, we got the air dodge read. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Like, like, like I said, Don Kong, he's got a lot of things that are going against him, but he's such a oh. scary character once he gets started. Whips the four day or punish through the four smash. That was great. Yeah, really nice. He's doing a fantastic job of just calling out all the snacks defensive. And that's the that's the problem with a lot of these high mid characters. Uh, they have the tools to be successful. It's just putting them together. And uh, these characters who have these successful tools are a little bit easier. Uh, that's just the characters that you, know, you see more often. Phyllis does have experience in this matchup. I know there is a... Yoshi in Southwest Virginia, Adam Virginia Tech, that he plays. I don't. He plays both Robin and Yoshi, so I don't know who the other guy is in this matchup. But yeah. looks like he got matchup pretty well. There you go, man. Two talked right there. Yeah. I'm sure there's plenty of visual experience in the years. I played the game. Yeah. But you know, it has been some time. Yeah, it has. Uh -huh. and Yoshi's not really a character you can just like stop playing for a while. Just like, oh, the matchup's like the back of my hand. Uh -huh. No, he's weird. Very weird. So interesting to see if Snack now. Snack kind of has the option. He might kind of pick himself, considering he has a Palutena. Yeah. It's a very bad match for him. Um, he does... He is wary about Palutena. Just because of the nurse. Uh, he's... Uh, I'm kind of sour about down throw nerf, to be honest. She goes like, there's no way. <laughs> so I think that... I think that Blightless was expecting the Palutena, and that's why he went there. That makes the most sense to me. And he's still confident enough in this matchup that he doesn't mind playing the Bayonet Yo, to the 34%, Yoshi. 34%, that was a bad stock for Snack. Jesus Christ, I yeah. her combo. So the thing is with Bayo is her combos, she's not going to like throw you off the combos at zero like she did before, yeah. but her combos will still do a lot of damage. damage that's she's something you got to worry about. She's got good advantage state. Um, she's got good edge guarding too, good hitboxes. Yeah. Um, well, some of her boxes are a little weird, but... He just has to her throw off good more uh, hard reads, per se, or like a... Uh, air dodge situations. Yeah, she, she really has to get that read, but uh, Flightless was showing that he was doing a really, really good job at catching uh, Snack's landings, so he's going to be able to get those punishes, but he's probably not going to be able to lead to like, the super early stocks that he's getting before, unless he gets like, a, uh, a real hard read. The bullets are also really, really nice, because they, like, <laughs> Uh, yeah. Especially on like Lilat, where like the stage is like curved, yeah, the bullets kind of go it's across. It's a very advantageous angle. That's yeah, a nice angle where um, really it's going to be hard for Snap to approach, considering bullets go through X. The edge guard situation though. Bayo's still hard to edge guard, but it's definitely that doable. Being, that being said, Snap. Oh, that's a nice uh, 
about that. Snack is was keeping up that stock pretty pretty well. He was finding the hits where he needed to. Uh, Bayonet is still. It's pretty. It's pretty big for this. Yeah. He's gonna get the kill here. Oh my God! I don't Jesus know. Christ. I don't know if that was just that. What that, that must have been some kind of yeah. I don't. It, I don't know that we didn't see. I don't know if it was bad. Yeah. Because that, that that does kill, but I wasn't expecting to kill a character as heavy as Yoshi. With not without rage. It was it was a oh, that's, that's, that's a small game to see that happen. Yeah, that's a close back. Banana. A little bit a little bit tricky to add to that was that was so. not Smash Ultimate's fault. Now snack in a super advantageous pot. It's Bayonetta, it's like she can rack up damage pretty fast, but the fact that she struggled to kill a lot of the time really makes it hard when you're in a deficit like this, especially a stock deficit. Yeah, Lucky Yoshi, like you said, uh, have your character, loading, not even fall, just falls out of his combos for a lot time. You really have to be all in pump or else. Uh, he falls out of the second hit of the down air, which probably would have killed. Um, but now, I mean, Flatus has been playing well since he lost that dog. Yeah. He's, he really hasn't gotten hit too badly. If you close it out within the next few minutes or so, you can get it up. Oh, he's in such a dangerous spot right now. Yoshi's got Yoshi's hit. Any good smash that from Yoshi is going to take it right now. So maybe like a no smash. Hasn't really found any of that so far. These past few games. Falls out, Snack aerially has to go to the witch time, but Snack waits nicely, but still gets the best man. Oh, he's oh. fine. It's so scary. At 175%. The ledge is where Bayo can kill better than generally usually because he has that forward throw, he has that dash attack, which don't kill very well center stage, but they can they can steal stocks to the ledge. Not super early, but they can they can get they can they can do it. And now if I just can play like he was the last stock, then uh, he's not looking too bad. Uh, the problem is like he's got a, he's he really has way less leeway than he had then. Because I mean, there's a big difference between being like 50 or 60 percent and being like 100 yeah, percent. Second you make a mistake, it's gonna be. Uh, oh my God, that almost killed. That was that's so strong. Is he gonna make it back here? Yeah, man. The next mistake he makes is gonna be he's gonna be game over. Don't don't. <gasps> oh my God. Yeah. He's gonna do the Just just swing for anything you can. Yeah, this this is it's really scary for him right now. This, this, oh. Uh, he really doesn't want to hit his shield at all. The down smash so... I thought, that, I thought he was going to die. He's, oh, he's oh, back, he's yeah, back, he's back. Okay. Bayonetta has a lot of recovery options. And yeah, the thing is with that side, dude, oh. it's, it's, it's actually... Oh, not going to kill. This is so close. Oh, he's not God. dead yet. Yeah. Hey, that will be it tonight, 2 on. Or 2 on. I didn't realize how many options Bayonetta had against Egg. Yeah, yeah. Because she can a lot of like that that kick it can go um like right through it can go the kick like right through the egg. Um, the thing is with the the kick the upwards kick from uh, ledge is that it's it beats a lot of like aerial options that you generally use to like anti or jump from ledge. Um, you can beat it out, but you kind of have to like hard call it out because it's like really fast and it's not very reactable. Yeah. Um, and it can lead to a lot of damage. All right, sick. Good stuff from Snack. Depending on the home turf.